Integrate IT presents ERP123, Propel Your Business. Order entry using the product configurator. This is a quick video on the sales order configurator. Let's double click to open it. When we hit insert to start the process of entering an order and choose a customer, most of the information that we need on the first tab here will just default in. It all comes from the customer master. The ship to location is attached to the default, but what will happen is, is you can come here and just simply change it to a location, or if you don't have a hard location in the system, you can just over type it. From there, you're going to add items. A stock item is a standard item. An estimated item is an item from the uh, estimating system, and the question items are from the configurator. We'll choose a configured series, and the questions pop in, and we'll put in our quantity, and then we'll answer our questions. The first one is the shock isolator. We're actually configuring here a uh, seat in a boat. Seat color is gray. The base is a swivel, and you could have as many options here as you want. And two cup holders, and the system understands how to multiply that out. It's also going to give us uh, a price for the item as it calculates, and um, what we refer to as the configured part number. The configured part number is nomenclature that's based on the items in the system that were um, added during the configuration process. So you can see here that we've got the configured part number. Let's do another one, and we can add a standard item to the same order. The system will price that item as well. So now we've got a price for this item, a price for this item. Save it. And now we're going to look at the report configurator, where we can see a pick list or the order acknowledgement. And there you have it a sales order created using a product configurator.